Hello everyone, Dr Poppy here. Welcome back to my pet rescue centre. Let's welcome our first animal, Sarah the cat. Cats are members of the feline family, which means Sarah here is actually very closely related to lions and tigers. But Sarah's a lot friendlier. Hello Sarah. Shall we take a look at you? I promise I'll be gentle. Hmm, let's have a look. Sarah, your tummy looks very big. Have you been eating too much? Oh. Hmm, let's have a listen to your heartbeat. Well, listen to that. You have four heartbeats and a large tummy. Does anyone know why Sarah might be feeling unwell? She's pregnant and she's about to give birth. Let's count how many kittens Sarah gives birth to. One, two, three, three beautiful kittens. Well done, Sarah. You're a mummy. Lily is a breed of dog called a beagle. Did you know that a beagle could use its powerful sense of smell to follow another animal's tracks? even if they're buried under deep snow. Welcome, welcome, Lily. What seems to be the problem? You look very itchy, Lily. Shall we take a closer look at your fur and see what's making you so itchy? Let's use this magnifying glass. A magnifying glass helps us to see tiny things very clearly and in more detail. Ah! as I expected. You have jumpy, itchy little fleas having a party in your fur. Robbo, can you fetch the flea vacuum please? Let's suck those little fleas right up. Let's count the fleas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. That's it. We got them all. Those pesky fleas are so troublesome. Look, they're carrying on with their party. Lily, you are now flea free. Oh, look. Here comes Felix at eleven o'clock. Felix? You're an hour late. Tortoises can live for a very long time. Some can live to 150 years old. I think I know what the problem is, Felix. Are you tired of being late for everything? It must be very difficult walking quickly with that big, heavy shell of yours. Do you have any ideas, Robbo? I do have something in mind. Roller skates. Great idea, Robbo. Let's try on this pair of roller skates. Let's try it out, Felix. Try and zoom around the cones. Ready? Steady? Go! Well done, Felix. I don't think you'll be late again. This is Gordon the hamster. Hamsters like Gordon are very good at digging. They create big burrows in the soil where they live. Hi, Gordon. You look like you're enjoying your wheel there. Oh dear, this is not good. 
It looks like you're going to be sick. Have some water. Water makes you feel better by getting rid of headaches and keeping you refreshed. How often do you spin in your wheel, Gordon? I think Gordon is travel sick. If you're going to play on your wheel for that long, you need something that will stop you feeling sick all the time. Ask your mummy or daddy to give you a spoonful of this every morning when you wake up and at night when you go to sleep and you can play all day long. Let's see how many circles Gordon can do in his wheel now, shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! Fantastic, Gordon. You really are talented. Our first animal today is Lucy the goldfish. Many people think that goldfish have trouble remembering things. This is actually not true. Goldfish have memories that last three months. I do hope Lucy remembers what she's come here for today. Hi Lucy, how can I help you today? Stop, stop, stop Lucy before you hurt yourself. Hmm, I think I may know what's wrong. But I need your help, Robbo. I think Lucy needs an eye test. Please can you get some words up on the screen for Lucy? One eyesight test coming right up. Lucy, can you read this? Don't worry, Lucy. K, R, A, B spells crab. Let's try another. Never mind, Lucy. Sh, a, l spells shell. Hmm, I know. Robbo, I think Lucy has a problem with her eyesight. Can you please fetch the reading goggles? Try these out, Lucy. They're super special goggles that make you see better. Sometimes humans need to wear glasses to help them see better too. A perfect fit. Let's see if that makes a difference. That's right, Lucy. Ish spells Fish! Well done! I think you just needed a pair of glasses, didn't you? Here comes Henrietta Hen. Did you know that hens are omnivores? Which means that as well as eating seeds and vegetables, they also eat insects and small animals like mice. What seems to be the problem? Look! Henrietta's laid four eggs but they're all different shapes and sizes and not at all the right shape for an egg. I think Henrietta has forgotten what shape egg she needs to lay. Robbo, shall we try and remind her? Henrietta Hen, what shape eggs have you laid? Square, circle, triangle, rectangle. Henrietta Hen, what shape Is it a circle? Close, but I'm not ready to bite. Is it a triangle? Is it a rectangle? No, it's an oval. An oval. Henrietta Hen, what shape X have you laid? Square, circle, triangle, rectangle. Henrietta Hen, what shape Circle, triangle, rectangle, Henrietta. 
Henrietta has laid a perfectly shaped egg. So now we know that oval is the right shape for an egg. Here comes our first patient, Twinkle the Robin. You can tell a robin by their beautiful red feathers on their front. Sometimes they're called robin redbreasts and can be heard singing in your garden on Christmas Day. Twinkle, what seems to be the problem? <laughs> Twinkle, I can't hear you. Have you lost your voice? May I have a quick look at your throat, please? Robins and other types of birds sing as a way of speaking to one another, just like humans do by talking. Yes, Twinkle. It looks like you've got a sore throat. The best treatment for a sore throat is to wrap up warm, rest up and drink plenty of water. Some of Robbo's special cough syrup will help too. A spoonful of cough syrup coming right up. Here you go, Twinkle. Make sure you take a big gulp. It's important to stay warm out there and get as much rest as possible. Would you look at that? She's already feeling much better. Here comes our second patient, Chili the Emperor Penguin. Emperor penguins live in a place called Antarctica, near the South Pole. Antarctica is so cold, the ground is made of snow and ice. Oh dear, Chili, you look under the weather. Let me take your temperature with my thermometer. Thermometers are used by vets and doctors to take the temperature of your body. The higher the red line in the thermometer, the hotter your temperature is. Chilli is definitely too hot, but I don't think you have a fever. You just aren't used to being indoors in warm places. Emperor penguins just like you All have fat and feathers too That's to keep you warm, you know When you play out in the snow Sledging down the icy hill You don't ever feel the chill You have lots to keep you warm Even in a big snowstorm Yes, it's true what I've been told Where you're from, it's very cold In the Antarctic you are not Now you're feeling far too hot Just to keep you cold and nice We've made you this coat of ice This will keep you nice and cool When you're feeling hot in school This coat is made of ice which is just water that is frozen solid. It will help to cool you down. That's much better. Look how cool you look. Ants like to be with other ants and live in groups called colonies. Most ants are worker ants and they use teamwork to build the nest, protect their queen and find food for the rest of the colony. Hello, Alice. What's wrong? Why aren't you with the rest of the colony? Oh, I see, Alice. You've got a bad back from carrying too much. It looks like you've been trying to do too much by yourself. When you try to carry too much and you do it on your own You're making life more tricky Whereas you could make it known that you need a little help And your friends can clearly see A helping hand is welcome Work together, that's the key Share the load, it's going to help each one of you wonders and you can work as one on your own you get frustrated 
And you can't get to the end Don't carry all the world If your back is going to bend Share the load It's going to help each one of you On the road to moving on Share the load other to be strong and to be brave share the load it's going to help each one of you on the road to moving on share the load you need a little give and take we can help each other to be strong and to be brave share the load So, there you go, Alice. Do you think you'll let your family and friends help you a bit more now? Here, wear this back support, which will help when you are carrying things. Well done! You're all working together as a team. Teamwork makes the dream work. Here comes Cecil the snail. As you've probably guessed, snails like Cecil are very slow movers. In fact, they are one of the slowest creatures on earth. Oh, poor you, Cecil. You really don't look well at all. A little slime is good for a snail like Cecil as it helps them to move as well as protect them from the sun. But this is just... <coughs> Too much slime. It means Cecil can't climb walls. He's just too slippery. I think Cecil may be suffering from a cold. I know how to make you feel better, Cecil, but we're going to need a bit of help from our friend Shane the koala. Robbo, do you remember Shane was eating eucalyptus leaves before? The oil from eucalyptus leaves can help with runny noses and coughs when you have a cold and should help our friend Cecil here. I think Shane is just leaving the pet rescue centre. I'll go and find him. Thank you so much for popping back, Shane. Now, Cecil, breathe in some of that precious eucalyptus oil and you'll start feeling better. <laughs> 